All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. Unfortunately, in the last episode, we actually lost our first game of the entire series. If you didn't watch it, definitely go check it out. Uh, we played with John Sandman, and this is the first time I've had a guest on this uh, this, uh, this series. And unfortunately, it was the first loss. So uh, John feels terrible, but I told him, you know, it's all good. We're uh, we're still in Grand Champion 1 Division 3. We kind of stayed level with the last episode. Um, we're going to stick with the name Brawler today in this wonderful picture, wonderful monstrosity that I created. This one I actually came up with myself, but if you want to recommend new names and new profile pictures, you guys know what to do. Make sure to comment in the uh, the comment section of all my videos, because I just see it everywhere now. Um, but yeah, I've got so many on the list uh, in the future, but I thought I would use the same name again, because, you know, this is going back into solo. We're re jumping into the next games. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. You know, no hard feelings about the loss. I think that, you know, that, that was starting to stress me out, having such a big uh, win streak. And uh, I think it was 125 at the very end of it. But we're jumping to the next games. If you haven't subscribed yet, I really appreciate you guys subscribing. We're trying to hit 1 million subscribers before my birthday on March 31st. So if you can help out in any way possible, let your friends know, you know, just, you know, let them know. Um, but yeah, let's get into the next games. See how it goes. All right, we have the first game, we've got Andrew, Epitac, and C on my team. Let's see how this does. Uh, see how this does. Nice. Let's see how we do. Uh, it's a bit of a rough uh, start off that kickoff, but C should have a touch with the corner. Not the greatest touch, but we'll see if he blocks the sidewall. Pop it up to see what uh, Epitac does. Grabbing the boost. It's okay. Get behind my teammate if I can. Well, that's not good because he actually like blocked... Uh, Blocked the ball in a way that actually made me feed it back to middle. Decent touch, but... Oh, C's up there. Oh, no. That's going to be a goal now, I think. Yeah. So, I didn't think C was up on the wall there. I'm not sure why he was up on the backboard. I thought he was in net. But he ended up trying to clear it and missed, and then I made a clear to middle. So, yeah. But really rough there. I probably could have, you know, made a better clear to the side. And it, But at that point, I probably shouldn't have jumped off the wall if I saw my teammate just, you know, whiffing like that. Hopefully, my teammate can follow this. He should have possession. Very passive. I'll stay with this here. Okay, I stay with it. Got some space to work with. Good play. I couldn't really get the flick because uh, it would have been off target. Probably could have been a, went a little bit earlier. Let's make sure I get the demo. I actually bumped me, actually. That's fine, though. Great shot. Great finish. There we go. Should be a flick over him. Should be towards target. Should be clear to the side, too. And we'll just bump this guy off the ball so that way my teammate can get in. Get some pressure. I'm going to go immediately because he probably won't expect it. Actually, he's okay. It's a good touch. Pop over him. Should be a free shot. Okay, my teammate went back. He could have held on to the pressure with me there because I popped in middle for him to get a shot really early touch or attempt from uh, my teammate it's gonna be awkward it's fine not playing too well this game so far but haven't played in like three days we'll see if we can uh warm up a little bit here as the games go on decent touch even though Apotech makes this fall up here it should be all right kind of threw away the ball with that one there should be a shot here and I don't think the guy was ready for it Definitely a big opening there. Epitac needs to make sure he covers the net when uh, his teammate loses possession right there. Andrew kind of pops it off the wall to the point where it's going to bounce at mid and I can just take an immediate shot. And you really, have, at this level, need to be ready for those. Uh, just be ready for the, the chance of any of those openings. You need to be uh, covering the worst case scenario. And that, in that situation, obviously, the shot towards target is going to be your worst case scenario. Um, in most cases, if he doesn't, you know, if he stays back, um, it would be... A throwaway of possession for me because he's just waiting for the ball to col be collected. Good block. See if he can get back to it. Still the boost. I'm waiting for him to get the flick because he's going to throw it away. And then I'll bump the other guy if he goes near the ball. But he ends up backing off and now my teammate can get a free possession. Early touch to get it over one player. Andrew with lots of boost. Now he's going to get the clear there. Get the catch. Good of him to leave the boost for me. Get around one. Surprised Andrew didn't go, but I can bump him off and hopefully my teammate can follow it now. He was playing pretty far away a lot of the times where he could have covered me, but I noticed it, so I'm trying to play around that. There we go. Get a 50-50. Go for the boost. And it's going to go spill it to mid. Hopefully my teammate can get ready for it. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. So my teammate should have definitely cleared that. It was definitely open, uh, open clear to the side, but uh, he spun around pretty far and uh, just didn't jump up in time. Which is awkward. I think that at this level, you should be ready for those. Especially when they're, like, shooting from midfield. Not even, like, in the box. Like, there's definitely a lot of room to make it clear. But my teammate has definitely looked shaky in the air. So, um, his forte is definitely looking like the, the you know, the, the ground. And I noticed that. 
Should be able to stay with this. Team it wants it though, and I can tell, so that's why I backed off. Andrew threw it to me, and now it's midfield. Shoot towards target, so at least he has to make it clear. Let him go. My teammate's kind of not sure what he wants to do. So I'll be a little bit careful with that. Get a block if I can. Go for the bump on this guy if I can. There we go. Should be mine here. I'm going to try and go for a play. Should be a play around him. I tried to finish that off, but there's not really much of an angle. Should be a finish here. I can just follow this. The guy pushed up, so now I can make a shot. Both of them with a good save. Should be a clear. C should be getting back. Good save. Good play. He played pretty aggressively there, too. I heard him on our on their side, which is really dangerous. C left the boost for me. Pop it off the corner. Stay with it now. That's fine. Good pressure. Oh. There we go. Pop off the backboard. See if they get a touch. They do. Good collection. Go for the back corner boost. Teammates should be stalling. Match an open touch here. I'm not sure why he let go of the ball. He could have stayed with that with the 50-50. Um, but he ended up trying to like bring it across into possession. But in that in that situation, he's going to hand it off to me and I can just cut it off. He needs to stay goal side right there and understand that because the ball is rolling so fast, if he sits behind it, at, by that point, he's already going to be traveling past the ball. Right here, I can get the boost and then turn around on it. Get a shot towards target. Epitax going to clear to the side and I can get a bump here to make sure it's a little more open for my teammate. But he's pretty far away once again, not staying relevant on the play. I knew that was possibly going to be happening there with the demo. Tried to avoid it with the last second jump. 50-50. Andrew with the big throwaway. He's going to try and follow it again. But I understand that, so I'm just backing off and waiting here. It's fine. My teammates should be ready for that. I don't want to go for this because they could go up the wall, which is exactly what happened. It's going to pop off the backboard, and that should be the finish there. So, At these points in these games, like it's going to be a lot more sweaty. you got to actually like, play properly, and I think that like, I'm trying to like be reserved, but that, in, that, in that situation, where, like in this situation in these games, whenever I'm being reserved, I'm finding that people are just cutting me off, so I need to start just playing fast and just you know play to my strengths, which is playing in, in a good position and using the fact that I'm in a good position to go immediately um, instead of you know giving, giving them so much freedom because at this point, people are pretty good at shooting, so if I give them openings and stuff, there's probably a good chance that it could be unsavable, and I don't want to put myself in that position. So it's time to start, you know, picking it up a little bit more and play like I'm actually playing in, in the top 20 or top 100. Because I feel like the gap of play between, you know, top 100 and, and anywhere in GC is really just speed and uh, consistency. And so if you're less consistent, you're going to get scored on. It's just the, you know, nature of this rank. Uh, so we're going to try and play a little more consistent and be, uh, you know, my good old self. So in, in saying that, I'm going to take an immediate shot, shoot it back corner, see what they do. Keep it on target. Citrus has a play here, but I don't think it's going to be that good because Warrior is going to be there for a clear. He is. And now I see the guy pushing up. So immediately I'm just going to take a shot, bang it on the right side. So you can save once again. I'm just taking advantage of the fact that they're uh, they're pushing up a little bit to immediately cause them have to have to get pressured. It's a good try from my teammate. I'm going to fake this. There he is back off that's all right as well oh no except when my teammate does that i was gonna keep that close i didn't want him to boom it away like he was about to right here i know that the opponent might challenge pop it over one and because venom is or venom is pushing up this could be good for us here i'm gonna pop it to the right side teammates probably got his boots stolen actually doesn't look like it. i think he has it good first catch here pop over one Let's stay off the corner, pop it out mid. He needs to get the back, the, the middle boost. Kind of left the net open for a second there, but it should be all right. Pop it around one. Right here, I can take a tap and then fake it. Try to go for the light touch. My touch was a little bit too heavy on the first one. Pop it up. Teammates walking the corner really awkwardly. That was probably my boost, but he instead like cut me off. Right here, I can stay with it. Both of them are on the corner. If they do, I'm just gonna. I know that he's gonna beat me since I let go of the ball. Um, so instead, what I do is just make an early touch. Teammate's still pretty far, so I don't want to, you know, actually give the ball away. Citrus should be able to make a touch in mid. Once again, early flip lets lets possession go, so I can't really follow it. Um, it's too dangerous. I fake him here. It's good. He kind of left me the ball though, so I can make a play off the ceiling. For that late touch that makes him have to make an awkward touch on the backboard. Teammate should be stealing the boost, which he does, which is smart. Now we can stay with this. Not a great touch, though. Could have uh, used the fact that they were under pressure to uh, 
Oh, what is he doing? <laughs> I didn't expect the, the, the bump attempt. I was going to try and watch for like a pass or something. So far, like my teammates kind of being like overly aggressive. That's really awkward. No, teammate. <laughs> Behave. Fake. Get 50 50. Like, I have a free possession. He needs to know that. My teammate needs to know that I have a free possession, and he just pops off the wall. So it makes it like awkward because we commit more than the like the number of players we need to. Pop it up. My teammate is just not understanding that I'm trying to cut that position off. Like, he's, he's definitely, uh, not been very aware. So right here, I'm going to keep the ball close instead of popping it. Teammate immediately just decides to go for it and throw the ball away. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this guy so far. It's been really awkward. Stop touching the ball! Just let me touch it, please! I'm keeping it close. Yeah, you need boost because you keep touching the ball. Oh, teammate! Oh, you're so annoying. <laughs> it's like a third imposter. Should be able to finish this if he makes a quick touch. Probably made the worst touch he could have possibly made in that situation. Um, I think I DC'd. I'm not sure, though. I'm going to stay with this and see if I can score. I don't know if it's actually going to be a goal, though. What? What? It's a rough game here. This Citrus guy is hard to play with, but I'm going to get the mid boost. Or maybe not. Okay, I'm going to have to pop off in a second. Oh, that's a good play. That's probably going to be goal, too. Wow. <laughs> Never mind. Get the demo here. I'm still lagging pretty bad. Oh, that's going to be a goal, too. Dude, I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this is looking like a win uh, not a winnable game. I'm going to be honest with you. A uh, bit rough for my teammate. Ooh, good play, though. Oh, my. Go, teammate. Should be open. Okay, good. There we go. Uh, it's still winnable. We have 12 seconds. I mean, it's possible. If I just pop off for a second, I'd probably get a goal. Um, but unfortunately, I am off kickoff here, so... Let's see if he can make a play. Really, really rushed into the corner. There we go. Pop it middle. Teammate is forward! There's no way, dude! Oh my god, I'm tilted. That's like straight up tilt for me, but let's see if we can get in the next game and actually get a win here. Uh, we got the Phenom guy again on the opposite team. But wow, that was atrocious. I, I'm going to just start, you know, ball chasing and play my game because that, that hurt my brain a little bit. You just would not leave the ball alone. You'd play across. I'm going to cut this immediately because the guy's following. And right here, I'm going to go for a flip reset. Oh, okay, good, little, good little fake. In that situation, my teammate gave me good possession because he popped it to the side. The reason why I didn't want to take it to the wall is because he would have probably jumped up uh, and tried to get a pinch. And we ended up getting a good fake there off of Phenom. This is a bad touch from the opponent. He has to make a, an attempt at the... Oh, he got an attempt on the net. There we go. Um, it was good of him to follow it. It looked like he uh, he could have like kept it to the corner or something or kept possession. I should have just went for the, the touch just, and ball chasing the corner. It's a weird, weird set of games. Get clear to the side fine teammates should be up nope never mind <laughs> okay you know what we're at the reset bad clear for me i guess because uh my teammate wasn't yeah look how long he was waiting man like it's just like you just have to go up immediately you have to read that touch like you know the where the ball's gonna go read it immediately and go for the play you now at this rank i'm just expecting too much I need to stop uh I need to stop respecting uh my teammates you know for the entire series so far we've been doing a lot of like uh oops We've been doing a lot of, uh, you know, respecting my teammates and positioning for them, but right now there's just so many misses. This dot guy's holding, holding the fort. All right, left. <laughs> Something. Teammate. Good flick. Give me a good save. Good pressure now that we can hold onto this. Good save. Should be open for Unix. Oh my goodness, this guy's holding the fort. Wait for this. Bad touch. Open shot. Good save though. This guy just holding the fort. 1v2, man. Pass it middle. No. It's your 1v2, man. Stay close with this touch. There we go. Finally. The, you know, when you're 1v2 or when you're 2v1ing or you you have a situation where you're, you're 2v1ing an opponent, the one thing you want to do is get the, the opponent to either throw the ball right to your teammate or get rid of him in the, pos uh, the positioning. Uh, the fact that this guy was able to hold it for so long was just because there was just such poor usage of uh for, pos for possession but let's see if uh, this guy wants to stick around for this game we're gonna get we're gonna get a little more goals here good save see my teammate wants to follow middle 
Once again, I was trying to hold that for my teammate uh, to come in for the challenge or for the pass. Like I said, I was trying to play the position where... Um... Okay, teammate. <laughs> it's a weird play. I was trying to give that a possession for my teammate in the middle. This is a weird episode, man. This is weirder than the last, the last episode. <laughs> Big miss. Nice finish. I will probably just uh, brush past this game, though, for the rest of it, since, uh, you know, we're probably just going to take advantage of the 1v2, and there we go. Uh, weird quick game. We'll move on to the last one and see how it goes. Obviously, by no means am I playing that well, because I haven't played for a few days, but at the same time, I feel like these are, like, some teammates that I'm not really, like, vibing with. I'm not sure why. It just seems like they're just playing for <laughs> S's and G's, I'm going to say, but I don't know. It just feels like they're not positioning for, like, any passes or anything, or, you know, trying to cover as many options as possible so what i'm gonna do is just shoot this towards target in the top left should be a free goal in that position uh because it pops off the middle of the uh the corner there i can just pop it once one touch here and then i use a little bit of boost to get to the right side of the ball and then immediately flick to the left and i keep it tight against that top crossbar no mercy this game i'm honestly just gonna vibe with it i need to prove to myself that i, I can hang with the gc ones you know as a person who's um top Top 50, top whatever, top 100, you know what I mean? Like any of those ranks. Get behind my teammate, good catch. Good fake. Ooh. Good try on that touch. If Unix, this is the guy that was on my teammate, like right, right here, the last game. Guy who couldn't really keep possession. Oh, should be almost close finish. There we go. Who should hopefully spawn? I'm just gonna sit on it. I'm kidding. I'm leaving. Leave me alone. Good. Teammate went down the wall, so now he gave possession off to Rear Rocky. But that's going to be an open goal because Unix is just nowhere to be seen. There we go. Rear Rocky's in a weird spot. Kind of gives me the ball, though. It's going to be open again, once again, because the guy's just not recovering. And that was a poor touch from Rear Rocky as well. Or is it Rear re -re Rocky? But yeah, Unix, look how slow he's moving. He could have flipped it back so much faster and been there. But he's just kind of like moseying on along and not really able to, you know, cover his teammates. To be a, a good pop over the opponent. Good shot. Re -re Rocky's going to try and make a save. Ends up collapsing on his way back. And Unix wasn't able to make an aerial challenge. So we get another free goal. I really like this guy on my team. Birdo's looking really solid. Um, making good possession plays. Making good positioning. And uh, <laughs> we're we're starting to see the, uh, the aftermath of, you know, a teammate that I had that wasn't even able to help me on a 1v2. <laughs> so, once again, just really bad possession there. Um, greeting for the mid boost. And then being way too out of position um, with this pinch. See, I'm not focusing on the boost. I'm just focusing on the pop across. And then Riri Rocky with the boost grab. Hope he learns his lesson that in that situation, he can't just go for the boost and hope for the best. Because uh, there are some times where the the best won't be <laughs> won't be the best. Or that situation won't be the best. Play behind Birdo for a pop off the backboard. Could be a good play here. Great finish. Nice, nice play. We're seeing someone who's very, very solid with his mechanics and positioning. Uh, at this similar rank, you can see how the, uh, you know, what a wide range of players you can get at this rank. He's kind of got a vibe with it and just move on. But, you know, sometimes you will get tilted. There's nothing you can do about it. Some teammates just lack a brain. Like what I just did. I agreed for that boost, but in this situation, though, we should be okay. Teammate, I know the opponent's pretty far away. I'm going to pop this around one player. Pop it towards net. And there we go. So in that situation, I definitely agreed for the boost a little more than I should have. But we're in a position where... We're so many goals up that I'm kind of just autopiloting. And we get that final goal. And uh, poor save from the opponents gives us that final win. So 7-0 for the final game. You know, I needed to get that out, <laughs> out of my system. I was tilted from that last loss uh, in the last game. Or no, it was the game before that. But still, weird weird episode all around, honestly. I know I didn't really tell you guys too much. You know, more is just mechanics that were popping off. And like I said, at this rank, it's more about consistency and using your mechanics to do more things and be faster. Uh, position well. But you can see Berto is actually GC2. We're in Division 4 here of Grand Champion 1. Hopefully in the next series or in the next episode we, we don't lose any more games. Uh, try to, you know, get off that streak of uh, losing in every episode. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode so far. Until next time, have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one.